Okay, guys. Today we're going to be looking at another scenario in Age of Empires 3. This one is called, uh, it's called Colosseum, but this one particularly was called Aztec Colosseum. I don't think that makes too much a difference. There's probably versions of uh, Colosseum that are uh, less glitchy or uh, more fair or balanced than others, but this one seemed pretty good. Now, admittedly, I'm, uh, I'm by no means a professional at this uh, Colosseum um, scenario. Definitely, uh, going going back to Age of Empires 2 even, I'm not even very good at it. So, let's just take it with a grain of salt. And uh, that's just, the, I'm just going to come out and say that right now. I'm, I try I try my best and I try to employ some strategies. But usually I end up uh, just feeding the other team points. So, basically what happens in this scenario, if you're unfamiliar with it, which you probably shouldn't be because this is not a new concept, this game. So I'm not sure if uh, the middle gives more bonuses, like attacking bonuses. It probably does. And I was here, if you want to pause it, you can look at some of the objectives. I'll go actually click on that again. So you've got this guy here. He's called my Chili Chi. And uh, so basically I have to keep him alive. And it, he's pretty much safe you, until you get crushed, until you, you get completely destroyed. Like no one's going to come in there and just kill him randomly. Plus he's got like 4,000 hit points or something. So... At this point, I'm just trying to figure out because I haven't played Coliseum in a while how to get units to spawn in your in your own little fort. And then I realized if you look over here on the map where I clicked, here's my guy. I got to assign him somewhere, and I decide I'm looking at the different options. Even though it's gonna, you know, I'm wasting time here, but I want to get a good option. And then here, apparently, there's a wolf. One of the guys had a. Oh no, sorry, red red. Uh, see, I had that Aztec priest, and red had a wolf. So. uh... There's the uh, rules again, or the sort of thing. So I went with the the uh, Aztec Cherokee horse, or Cherokee horse. And as you can see, other people picked different things. They picked crossbowmen, and one guy started building a field hospital. I built mine in here. I was copying him, as you can see. And uh, so basically what I learned right at the start of this game, or pretty quickly, is that Blue was the best player in this game. Actually, when I, before I even started, the when I was in the lobby... I think blue and maybe purple had a win percentage of like, I don't know, 87% or something. So they're really good. So, whoopsies, voice crack much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So basically what happens in this game is you get your units to spawn in inside your little fort. And there's only, there's only one decked upgrade. I don't even know. This is a garbage upgrade. And uh, so basically what happens is you send out your army and your whole goal is to kill more units than you lose. If you're doing that, you're 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 being successful. If you're not doing that, you're giving the other team points, which red red was using strelets, which is probably the worst unit you could possibly use. I mean, not only do you are they the weakest unit, but you don't even get more of them. So I mean, they're just getting slaughtered. So I decided to wait for a little longer and then uh, try to ambush purple here. Because now I'd have more units than him. And so I, as you can see, it kind of gets a little laggy here. And uh, so yeah, we're all fighting outside Blue's Fort. Orange actually is a computer. They, uh, we didn't get enough people in the lobby to actually, in there we scared away purple. And uh, so that's what this game's all about, is basically uh, picking on a player and just killing him. Like trapping him. At this point... I'm backing out because I don't want to get caught in the middle. You never want to get caught in between two forces. You just get slaughtered. And I don't feel like I ever created a unit that was really that good. Like, I don't know. These guys might have been okay, but like, they weren't even that good. Here I'm fighting blue, and blue I think probably just slaughters me somehow. And there I looked at her another deck card. There wasn't any. So basically what can I can say about this is me and green were probably equals and uh, red was the worst and blue was the best and purple was second best. This is actually quite the, quite a fun mode compared to I, I did a review of uh, zombies earlier and that uh, it really wasn't that much fun. Uh, I would recommend this mode here. I heal my units with my little surgeon and I let more units spawn in. Kind of nice having orange next to you because you don't have a uh, person beside you. In uh, Age of Empires 2 Coliseum, 
you'd often play with teammates. So that made it more strategic in, in a lot of ways because, say, me and Purple were on a team against uh, Blue and, and Red or something. You'd have to coordinate a lot more or something. Or, say, me and Green were on the same team and or whatever, you know. So you'd have to have coordination between you just put all your units on the same spot and two to one them, which usually is the best way to do it. But then your backside's open for getting attacked, but then again, you're spawning units in. So here I'm just, I figure the more units I have with me, like the more leverage I have. And here I scare away purple again. And I pull back again because I don't want to get cut in the middle with them all. He's uh, still running away. At this point, I just tell my guys to settle down. Apparently, I decided to go to attack green here because green was looking like they wanted to get beat up. And outside of each fort, you can see there's a little uh, square of building. Uh, it's an Aztec outpost, I think it's called. And uh, that, I think it shoots, but I, I don't actually recall it seeing it shoot. But it would seem that it would defend for you. As you can see, I don't see it shooting, but I do think it was shooting. Possibly. You know, that doesn't make any sense. So here it looks like I'm doing pretty good, like, yeah, I'm taking some casualties, but I, I don't know, like, it seems like I'm doing a pretty good job here, like, I'm fighting them back pretty good. So, player one reached 1,000, 100 casualties first, so he gets some animals. That's, this actually turned the fight right here. Was these stupid animals, I didn't realize how strong they were. And, uh, so, Blue was actually losing, kind of, well, he probably had more, he still probably had more than 100 kills, so, it's hard to say, because we don't know the number of kills. They actually pop up in the left sometimes by the score. Sooner or later, he'll bring his uh, animals out here. Here's another fight going on up there between uh, purple and green, in which purple is overwhelming green. This game goes for uh, 23 minutes, and uh, I'm not going to tell you how it ends because it's uh, it's not bad. So uh, yeah, these animals come out, and I'm just like, okay, everyone shoot the animals because they're just slaughtering us. And I see all these like see all those blue 18 pluses going up. I'm like, dude, this is not going well. It's not going well. Let's get out of here. So I pull him back. Oh no, I don't pull him back yet. I think at some point here I click. Oh, see, like, it's just where's my army going here? It's getting out of control. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm out of here. But I get this. This is a slaughter. So we pull him back inside, and uh, we'll heal him up here and produce more units. At this point, I'm starting to realize I'm falling behind, and once you start falling behind in this mode. It is like so. It's almost. I would almost say it's impossible to come back and win, or even to come back and be relevant. Because I think the only way you could do it, uh, there isn't really a way to do it. it. It seems to me in this mode, like whoever gets out to the first, the fastest start wins, because they usually that means they're killing a lot of units at the start. And if they know how to kill a lot of units at the start, then they're gonna know how to do it later on in the game too. I'm not sure why I decided to go attack Blue here. I think, oh, because Blue was, uh, he had his army separated. I should have actually just abandoned this attack too. This was dumb. So, basically Blue here got off to a good start. So, as you can see, he's going to level 2. <clears throat> but if you look on the map, mini-map in the bottom left screen, the uh, his blue dot there is now into a new section, which means he gets to pick new units. Which basically means that his units are superior to any army, any unit we can put out. Stupid animals laugh out loud, that's what I said. So, like, now we're just fighting uphill, because now he's got him. like, here I decide, yeah, let's see, here's another situation in which I said, let's go out again. See, I think this was actually a good attack here. Because now we've, me and Red are kind of just surrounding him. That was probably my best decision, to be honest with you. See how he's surrounded? I'll take that fight any day. And he has to retreat. I feel like I'll team up. I probably shouldn't have even teamed up with Red because he was just a feeder. He sucked. But uh, to be honest with you, in order to win this game, you have to make alliances. An alliance can never be perfect because you can't actually change it in game and, and tell your units not to attack Red. But they, it still helps. Like if we had been better units or been better at attacking, we could have like taken down his wall or something and did some more damage. But But he, as you can see, he's got some special units in here. I don't know what you know what they're called, but he's just starting to kill it in there. 
starting to destroy our units pretty good. Player 4 goes to level 2, so that's the purple guy. So purple and blue are leveling up. I was player 3, and man, did it get out of hand. Like, should I should have done better in this game, but like, I always kind of feel like I'm doing better than I am. Here I abandon this attack, because it's just not happening. But Red using Strelitz was just dumb, you know? That's just, the, you know they're the weakest unit. You're not, they're not producing any faster than any other unit. You know, so you're, you're attacking 50 Strelitz on 50... 50 musketeer men, 50 musketeer men will win any day. Here he's just getting slaughtered, and he's still trying to attack the building. So, yeah, he's using Gritas, which have 1,200 hit points. Okay, and I think the horses have like 400 hit points. So, automatically, we're just going to get ourselves slaughtered here. I'm still checking to see if I am can upgrade yet and I can't. I think this might be the point where I decide, okay, I'm just gonna build a massive a massive army and go out there and just try to get to the next age. Because right now I can't just sit in this age and let them get too far ahead of me here. That's my goal. Get to the get age up as fast as I can. Regardless of casualties really at this point. Which is I know is terrible, but I've I've already like like I said earlier, like I feel like I've already lost this game. So now I've got uh, an army of 50 on the left and an army of almost 50 here. So I got almost 100 units, which is pretty substantial. But the thing about Blue is his units are so good that when he sends them out, he doesn't need, like, like if he attacks Red here, he might suffer 25% casualties, whereas Red may suffer 75% casualties. So he's not even, like, He's making a net gain as the game progresses on units, even while he's attacking. Whereas I will be making a net loss for the rest of the game. There's just no way. Player 1 goes to level 3. So he's in level 3 now, and I'm only in level 1. Along with the rest of the guys, except for Purple's in level 3. Let's just give out the names here for some uh, Player 2 Restrainer Casual. That's the red guy. That's Wolf. Wolfie or something. Acrylic. Jo Jojo Angle Guardian. Emich and Ivan the Terrible were the players in this game. Yeah, so we battled back blue again, but still, like, we can battle him back, but he's just, he's got the ranged units and they're just crushing us. Player 3 goes to level 2. So, mission success, we finally made it to level 2. At this point, I'm like, darn it, which unit do I want? Even use. I looked at the, that guy, he didn't have enough hit points. That guy didn't look any good either. I was like, let's go with Longbowman. Because you know what? I think I think Longbowman was actually a good choice. They're just really, they didn't actually, in theory, I think they were a good choice. But they just, um, what's the word? They didn't, they didn't do enough damage to actually kill units, really. Like, my idea with, with picking them was... I'll just sit back and pick these guys off from a distance and they won't even be able to attack me. If they come after me, I'll just run. Whereas with these horses, you got to get them right in the fray in order to 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 even try and get killed. So I went with Longbowman and I said, let's just start long shooting these guys. So finally, uh, Green is leveled up now. So I'm better than Green at this point. And as you can see, I'm starting to use this, this strategy of just shooting over the top, which I think is... Oh, uh, see now. Even here's an example of the horse fight. Like this, I got like eight guys shooting this horse, and he still managed to just down one of my guys, and like half injure another before I drop him. Here, I was getting concerned about. See, now my horses are almost entirely dead. So uh, we we just really got slaughtered here. We're all about what fourteen and a half minutes into this footage. Here I'm looking at other options because these longbowmen are not dealing enough damage. So this Bonaguard, it says he has 500 hit points. I was like, 500 hit points? That's a deal. But it actually wasn't, wasn't 500 hit points. He was only... Uh, <clears throat> I forget what it turned out being here. Let's see if I can get a click on one of them. I think it was something like 330 or something. Player 1 just went to level 4 and player 2, Red, just went to level 2. Yeah, these bone guards were disappointing. Should be better than that.
Here's the stats. 260. So they were half of as good as what they said they were. It's disappointed in that. Player forward goes to level 3. That is uh, purple. Yep, purple. So uh, blue is at 4. Red's at 2. I'm at 2. Purple's at 3. And green is at 2 as well, I believe. Blue is way too strong, as I told everyone here. At this point, oh, at this point also, good to know, here is green getting knocked out of the game, essentially, by by uh, purple. Sad face. So that's blue's, that's green's special character, as my guy was like an Aztec priest. This guy's got some guys, two guys with a deer. And uh, he's coming after him as Hulkins, which have some pretty decent... Siege attack of, these guys have a siege attack of 86, wow. So this one, he's just running. He's running for his life. He's going to get himself badly, badly trapped up here. He hasn't quit just yet, but he quits pretty soon here. Blue's now fanning up to take him out. He realizes there's nowhere to go on this map. He tries to, I, I decide to cut him off here. And let's see if he quits here. Oh, uh, not yet, eh? He's gonna quit pretty soon. Yeah, green it out. He just quit. Or he died. He's dead. Looks like he's dead. Yeah, he died. He didn't actually quit then, he just died. Good for him. Here I'm like, let's just try and level up, please. But by doing this and throwing myself at him to get kills, you know, I'm really just helping him. There's there's no way to come back in this game because, like, I cannot get a good KD anymore because his units are better than mine. Like, here's a great strategy being employed, but look at my guys. He's getting stomped here, especially when it gets down to the really melee stuff here. Watch all these blue 20s pop up here. And I'm just like, oh, man, these guys are just getting slaughtered. Just, just tearing through my army right now. Just tearing through them. Not even nice at all. So I'd recommend this game mode if you, anyone wants to go play it. Um, there's multiple different versions of it. Um, they all have the same idea though. Here I'm using my longbowmen in, in their best uh, capacity really. I'm trying to just get these bone guards in front of them here. But yeah, it was it's a pretty good game. Other uh, scenarios I still have to do to uh, finish this little review section on Age of Empires 3 scenarios would be uh, Food Bug Gold. It's one of my favorite ones. And uh, possibly doing Lost, maybe we'll see. And Mutation. So I'm not sure when uh, I'll get to doing that. This one probably won't be uploaded for another week. I've got some Walking Dead uh, videos I want to put out probably over the weekend and into the start of next week. So... We'll see. We'll see. I actually want to play it too. I, I'm really looking forward to playing episode four. I'm uh, dying to go play that right now. Figuratively, not literally. So it's just a, it's a four person race right now and me and uh, who's the other guy? Red are seriously outmatched in this game. And I think pretty soon here we're actually going to get to the end of the game. Yeah, it might even be right now. Player 4 goes to level 4, that's not even... So, now, blue might be on level 5, but purple's on 4, and me and red are on level 2. So we're getting beat down here. At this point, like, I'm just, we're not even winning this fight here. Like, this is just pathetic. Like, look at the damage. Look at all my guys are shooting those three guys, and they can barely kill them. So obviously, these long moments are completely outmatched for this fight. I still think this is a good strategy to employ though, because I think I'm pulling a positive KD right here. I think for the most part I pulled a positive KD, but there was just a couple battles where I just wasn't even close. Or there's there's the ends of battles where the, the tide turns and you guys are just completely out of fire. So as you can see, this range here just really helps you. 
and he paused it for some reason. Um, Red did. Red must have been the host. I'm not even sure what happens here. Blue is starting to take over the map still, which is uh, definitely concerning to say the least. Even if me and Red team up on Blue, we couldn't stop him. We couldn't even probably breach his gates. Like, he's just so much stronger than us. Even with a 2 to 1. And that would just accelerate his his uh, his advancement. And at this point I realized, oh man, he's coming for me. Everybody inside. So we pull everyone inside here. And I think to myself, well that's the best decision in this situation. Is to pull yourself inside. Because then they, you can shoot at them and they can't touch you. While well, you're still spawning units in. But this gate goes down really fast here. And I say, be nice. See, the gate's already gone. Like, this thing came down pretty quickly, and watch these guys just get stomped. So this is basically the end of the game for me. I end up coming uh, third place. And uh, third place? No, fourth place. Fourth place. Third, third one eliminated. At this point, I'm looking for pikemen to switch to, but at this point, it's basically too low, too late. Uh, player one got to 500 casualties first, but he's probably got like a thousand kills at this point, so that's irrelevant. At this point, I basically just said it's over. Like, look at this slaughter that's going on here. This is unacceptable. It's like, it's like Genghis Khan or something. Look at that, just just a massacre right there. Unbelievable. <clears throat> and there's my Chichayan guy. So now I'm completely overrun. They took him a field hospital. They're going to take him a bomb out tower, which I don't even think was shooting anything. Maybe it was. No, I think it was actually. And uh, I don't know what this building was here. Was this a barracks the whole time? It might have been a barracks, and I just didn't even use it. Like, I, I felt really stupid when I saw that. So make sure if you've got a barracks in your fort that you use it, because I just assumed it was nothing. That's part of the wall. And uh, so down goes my unit here. He's just getting himself beat down. It was a barracks too, and um, so I don't even know how this game technically finished. My guys, you you will continue to spawn units as long as you've got your leader alive, which is almost dead now. Just we just got slaughtered. I only got to level two, and blue got to like level a million and a half. So it was a fun game. I wish I was better at it. If you have any advice. Uh, Put put in the comments below because I don't really know what I'm doing. And as you can see here, they've got some special flying purple lapiers here, who are kind of crazy animals. Who are doing some pretty good damage? It looks like it's messed up. Okay, so I looked at the military score, and as you can see, I killed 330 units and died 580 times. So I lost pretty badly. Blue put up 1,200 and only lost 600. So we had a two to one KD. Yeah. What else, what else do I need to say? Like, we lost badly. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, put them down below. If you liked it, well, then like it. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. Look forward to possibly lost uh, Fudua Gold and Mutation coming up next. And if you haven't seen my review of... What was that one I reviewed? Oh, zombies. If you want to see my zombies one, check that out. And uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one.